Hello, my friends. It's good to uh, see you uh, this today. I have a few announcements for the community, so I wanted to make sure to get those out. The first one is just to let you know, we are starting this week, starting a six week series um, studying the book of Job. And years past, I've had requests about studying Job. And so we are taking it on this year. And so worship is going to look a little bit different um, to try to help us take a little bit more time and practice lament, which is um, a biblical practice to cry out to God, to kind of bring our complaints and our concerns, our fears, our worries, um, and to bring all of that to God and not be afraid to really get grumpy and complain with God. That is a holy and biblical thing to do. So we're going to practice that in the next six weeks. And we'll use the, the lots of different resources that we have available to us. Um, and this week on Sunday, we include confession and forgiveness in our worship. The other thing I want to make sure to announce or let, remind you of is that we've started on Sunday mornings, we've started to have a coffee hour. It is through Zoom. Uh, so it means you have to get logged into Zoom on Sunday mornings, um, but you can bring your coffee and your donuts. And um, the way Zoom works is you, you come into like a big room and then you get separated out into smaller rooms. So smaller groups of people. Uh, usually four or five. So it's not like you're on a screen with 20 different people. Instead, it's maybe four or five other folks. So you, and then if you're done with that conversation, you want to go back and find some other people to talk with, you can always do that. You can leave the small room and go back and uh, people don't need to get upset or offended. You don't have to stay the whole time. Um, is opportunity to see others. And it is not the same as being in person, but it is good to see others. So I encourage you to try that. If you haven't tried it, I encourage you to do it. Um, and if you need some help getting set up with Zoom, there are a number of folks um, who are doing that so you can reach out to our council. Those council members have Zoom as well as our finance committee. And uh, those folks, their names are listed in the directory books that I sent um, out to Fair Life in March. So find your directory book and you can find some folks who are set up with Zoom. Uh, third announcement this week, I just want to remind everyone to check out um, JC Office Supply. JC is a young man in the Twin Cities deaf blind community, and he is setting up an office supply and support business. And so he contacted Bread of Life and is trying to build his business base, and he's doing a fundraiser with Bread of Life. Um, and the fundraiser is that 25% of our purchases, the money from the purchase will go to support Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. And that church is near Bread of Life. And they have been doing lots and lots of work and outreach in our neighborhood to help support people who now are, um, are finding themselves hungry without access to other supplies and resources. So if you haven't checked it out, um, I'll post the website here and in the email as well. So you can go and find uh, what JC is doing and help support a fundraiser like that. The last announcement is that um, if you need a mask that has a clear area for your mouth, let me know. Um, I have a resource for you. I know others, 
others here in the Twin Cities are doing it, but I found out from a colleague about a person who's making them. And so if you need one, let me know they're about $5 a piece and they're reusable. <clears throat> and since um, starting on Saturday, masks are required in Minnesota, it may be helpful to have a couple extras um, around, so. So that's what I know for this week in terms of announcements. I just want to make sure to let you know a few things that are going on for Bread of Life. And um, I do hope that you stay in touch and uh, take good care of yourselves. <clears throat>